Hey guys, Chrome Serial here. Welcome to another RS3 Slayer Monster Assignment video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's get moving. We are back at uh, Jacqueline again. Again, once you get to level 25 Slayer, you'll need to go ahead and buy a mirror shield from Jacqueline here because we're going to go fight Cockatrice. A couple of ways to get there. One of the easiest way. Well, I should say, if you have fairy rings unlocked, the easiest way is to go to the fairy ring by the golden apple tree near Lolly in the Fermentic Province. But if you don't, I'm going to run there. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to need a... To wield this, I'm going to need a one-handed weapon. I forgot about that. Alright, we're going back. Detour. I don't even know if I have a one-handed... I hope I have a scimitar in here somewhere. That shield massive. It's like one of those photo lights. Like, used to focus on people when they're trying to take pictures. Uh, it seems like a lot of the junk I have here is two-handed. Uh, Let's see if Karasi's sword will work on this. Okay. I mean, this is just kind of... Alright, let's try this again. Because you need to... Wear the shield, otherwise they'll... Drain your stats. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. All right, so the mirror shield is one of the easiest ways to get to to avoid the attack of the stat draining attack. Otherwise, a couple of other items can be used. If you have a mask of stone or a helm of petrification, I think those are the ones that boost drops, those can be used. Uh, the mask of reflection or the helm of little kings, which I didn't know was an actual thing, that can be used apparently also According to the RuneScape wiki, but I don't know. Sunglasses may also be used. So, I guess that's a thing. I think I had gotten a pair of those. I thought it was basically, you know, like a flex or a gag. That they weren't actually used for anything. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, so basically, you have the lower level monsters at the beginning of the Fermentic Slayer dungeon and you just kind of wind, wind your way around to the most advanced. So we're going to go probably past the cave crawlers that are up here and then the cockatrice will probably be over here. Now what's interesting about these according to the wiki, past the rock slugs, is that the cockatrice drop limpert roots quite a bit. Which are used for herb lore which are quite handy. And it's out. I guess all it dropped was the bones. Oh, onion seeds. Okay. If you don't have herbicide, you'll be collecting onion seeds and so on. And if you are low level farming or low level like herb lore perhaps, it would be a good idea. Well, you can't make potions with the onion, but you can make potions with the herb lore. It would be a lot easier if you did have access to Helm of Petrification or any of the other things you had. Oh, a cockatrice egg. Nice. This is this is a very interesting drop because you can make summoning potion with it. Also, according to the wiki, uh, eye beams, blah blah blah, the beams, and the players protected. Uh, according to the wiki, they're weak to crush attacks, but the wiki also says, like, basically, they're so weak, you can pretty much use whatever you'd rather use. If you have a melee. I really want to check. Just to be not quite silly. I really want to check to see if sunglasses really do work on this. 
because that that would be preferable. I think I have a pair of sunglasses. If you have a the mask of petrification or any of the other masks that are usually a drop from Treasure Hunter, that's preferable because then you'd be able to uh, use a two-handed weapon of any type at that point because you'd be protected uh, your head slot serves as your protection so all right gonna do it the ultimate flex there we go although from here they look more like eyeglasses than sunglasses not quite sure Alright, I just want to check this out. I do have a teleport to the back here to the GE. That's almost one click. So if this doesn't work, it'll still be cool and I won't die. Because even when you are higher level, the stat drain is substantial enough so that you will definitely need to have uh, protection from the eye beams. And we're running. Yeah, otherwise. If you do have fairy rings unlocked, just go ahead. Fairy ring code AJR will get you here way faster than running. But I think it would be more commonplace to have uh, the lodestone unlocked rather than having the fairy ring unlocked it, it just depends it depends largely on what quests you did first and in what order you tried to do them and whatever skills you preferred on your way there that would determine whether or not you had one or the other method unlocked or available for you okay we're gonna try this <laughs> I may regret this this may not be the smartest decision I ever made to see if sunglasses do work to protect me Be. It appears they do actually work. This is rather slow, however, even though I still have a one handed weapon. Ooh, some law runes. And I mean. I think there are better monsters out there that I would eventually I will eventually get to later as I cover higher and higher monsters for this series. But I mean if you wanted to come here, you did have 22 Slayer and you wanted to just camp these. I mean undoubtedly you'd get law runes, bunches of seeds, nature runes, bunches of coins, which by and of themselves, it's only 419 each. But if you're stacking up several thousand of them, granted it would take you many, many, many hours, but it can still be valuable. Even though I know that there are better Slayer monsters out there with drops that are individually more valuable than this. So that's something to keep in mind. It's like, well, I don't have 50 Slayer or 80 Slayer or 90 Slayer. What could I actually do? You know, this is this is not the best, but I wanted to create a realistic picture. Not necessarily like a statistical one, but a realistic sort of one. It's like, what do certain Slayer monsters drop? that could be valuable even if there are some that are more valuable than others are. Alright, so anyway, that's that'll be it for the video of today. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Keep on going with your RuneScape journey and your life journey too. We will catch you all in the next one. See ya!